Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of the Archery tutorial series. In this video, it's uh, from this title, it's going to teach you how to add the archery stuff into TCF. This is not bound to Tempest in any ways or means. You can follow along if you don't have the pack and you also can follow along if you have the pack. Just for those who doesn't have it, um, what you need to do is basically translate whatever I'm doing into your own uh, blueprints or your own character stuff and core classes. So make sure that uh, if you don't have it, you, f you, you do the stuff wherever you need to, to do them. For those who have TCF, this will be built on top of the demo files content that I provided you. If you have been verified in Discord, this will be uh, the project that everyone is getting. So without further ado, let's dive into this. Uh, also, one more thing before we continue. Um, for those of you who think that TCF is only a melee thing, I'll prove you wrong in this video. TCF is capable of doing any kind of archery, any kind of projectiles, magic, melee, whatever you name it. So, to prove that to you, we're gonna do it in this video. Um, this will be a weekly series, so expect at least one video every week until we get this archery finished. For those who are verified on Discord, you will get the files by the end of it. But I do suggest you that um, you uh, do it as well as I do, just so you can learn on how to use the system. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive into it. And uh, I'm gonna link to you in the description uh, the bundle that I'm using right here. It's Ghost Samurai Bundle, and then we're gonna use from that, we're gonna use the bow. So the link will be in the description, so make sure you have that. And if you have been following my older videos, uh, I created a new folder, which is the folder I'm gonna share with all of you once I'm done. The folder has one animation blueprint that I duplicated from the previous blueprints for the player. And I have added this, sorry, it's not an addition, it's just a change. We have a new common blend space and a 2D blend space. Now for those two, I'm gonna show you. Setting this up is just time consuming, so I did the off video. Uh, you can ask me any questions if you have any, but now I'm just gonna show you what I have been using. Now, idols on the bottom, no change in that. Then you're gonna have the uh, the walks, forward, right, forward, right, right, left, backward, right, sorry, uh, backward, forward, left, left, forward, le uh, backward, left, and back. And here both of these are runs. So from 180, minus 180 to 180, a grid division is 8. The second axis is going to be speed from 0 to 600 for divisions. And make sure you have a, a weight speed of 4. That's for the walk idle when in combat. Now if you're not in combat, we're going to use the common one. And that's just a single 1D space. Uh, from speed from 0 to 800, this will be... Uh, what do you call it? Common idle in place, walk loop in place, run loop in place, and run sprint in place, and weight speed of 4. If you have both of these, just hook them up just like you see here. On the common, we have the normal one, which is the common. On not common, we have this. This might be removed later uh, for convenience. We're gonna see how, how it turns out. And uh, on the true pause, we have this one. And the exact same one on the false path, but without a direction. It's always going to remain at zero. So once you have that, and you have your animation blueprint, you have all these three, there's also an aim offset that I need you to pay attention to. Now the aim offset right now is just a 2D aim offset. If you're not familiar with aim offsets, I'll leave a, uh, a link in the description below, so make sure you watch that. We have a yaw from minus 45 to 45 on a grid division of 8. And the second axis is going to be the pitch with minus 45 to 45 with four grid divisions. And the weight, of course, add some weight. So let's make that four for now. And if you're not familiar again, make sure you check the link in the description. Now for some of the animations that you'll see in that description, it does demand you that you have an animation pose and uh, an additive, additive anim type. So the, the anim type would be the mesh space and the base pose will be selected animation frame and the animation frame would be the pose idle pose 
which uh, these animations I already copied them from Ghost Samurai Bundle. These are uh, I think around 10 in total including the idle pose and the idle pose is the one that we're gonna depend on. Make sure for the idle pose though additive anim type is gonna be mesh space the base pose type is gonna be frame from this animation not like the rest and we did not hook it up in the animation blueprint yet we're gonna do that uh, once we get to it but for now let's just go and once you have your animation blueprint set up you can come back and we can continue the, the video once you have that finished we're gonna create a new weapon like we did with all the weapons so for this part we're gonna go to weapons and again I'm just gonna move everything to the archery stuff so you guys can have the whole folder ready by by the time we finish this uh, uh, this series so I'm gonna take the unarmed for now because I don't need any meshes like for example if you open the katana for example here we have um, we're creating meshes and uh, assigning the meshes to uh, a trace and registering all these type of stuff we don't need to do any of this for the time being we're just gonna stick with uh, an empty one so we're, not, we're just gonna use the unarmed I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna call it bow and arrow once we have that set up we're gonna have to add it to the character itself and yeah before I continue anymore for the character we're gonna use a specific uh, I'm gonna create a child of this first we're gonna use the ghost samurai uh, bow mesh so bow open this up we're gonna hook, hook the um, what did we call it bow arrow weapon to start with and for those who don't have the TCF don't worry about this uh, this is just for uh, the uh, damage dealing and stuff now for the mesh we're gonna change it to bow zero ghost samurai bow zero two and make sure the animation blueprint we have is also worked this way we totally negated the need to create a mesh uh, sorry uh, a static uh, component for every weapon that we have this uh, skeletal mesh by default have all three together so you don't have to worry about assigning sockets and changing sockets and so on I do guess that most of you are not gonna use this they're just gonna use you know additions uh, like uh, a weapon I equip and we're gonna remove the previous weapons and so on for convenience we're just gonna stick with this one you guys can worry about the the sockets and their uh, respected uh, places so we have this for now and let's test pretty quick this is the demo make sure you change it into the, the bow which is we just created and make sure we're possessing this one now if we play you will see we have issues from previous anim blueprints these issues you don't have to worry about them because we're not using it so just play an editor and as you can see everything is working from the blend spaces to the uh, to the mesh but we have one issue it's a bit above the ground so for that we're just gonna lower it down mesh and slightly down that was too much let's fix again so rather than minus 99 I'm just gonna stick with 95 see how that looks still a little bit down we fix that one more time Wait, that's not the one we want so this is minus 99 minus 95 and this seems way better but still we need more minus 92 and this feels about right now in the next video we're gonna worry about equipping unequip uh, sorry equipping unequipping and how to change between the brain spaces so see you in the next one Bye.